Welcome back to the spaceship of the brother of Ray. Raymond's brother. I don't remember the name of this ship. I think we have to rest for now. Are you okay, game? You need to charge. Is this our bedroom? Yes. Oh, look. So cute. We have boxes and a passport. I don't know what's that. What that is. Oh, we have a um, computer here. Computer. Is this a window or a TV? Must be a TV, right? You don't want to look for other people. Stuff. Oh, we can hit. Hmm, I like this one, yes. Oh, that's right, we are poor. Oh, we don't have any money. Uh oh. We will Good night. sleep with hunger in our belly. The Vela Gulf has reached the Manuk system. They have made contact with what appear to be two Scorpion ships. They are engaging in battle. All available hands to the bridge. It seems the battle has begun. Best quickly make my way to the bridge. The battle against Scorpio. Can we fly here? We can. Let's go to the bridge. Do you think we will fight in space? Or we are returning to some planet? Status report. The Manuk fleet has already suffered heavy losses. They only have three vessels deployed currently, none of which have been able to attack effectively. Can you tell me, Ray, why is this Manuk fleet so inferior? Even up here in space, some folks have the technological leg up on others. Another Scorpion battleship is nearing the Manuk system. ETA, two hours, three minutes. How long until the Aldis arrives? Two hours, eleven minutes. However, we could become embroiled in battle at any time. I'm sure we'll be fine. Captain, update. We will arrive in the Manuk system in six minutes. The Vela Gulf has disabled one of the Scorpion vessels. They are currently in combat with two ships, including the one that arrived shortly before us. Way to go, Captain Curtis. Battleships sure are on a different level, aren't they? Captain, the Vela Gulf is hailing us. Putting on screen now. Vela Gulf to Aldous. We only have eight torpedoes left. Hardly enough to take out these last two ships. We're going to focus on stalling them. Can you cover us? You can count on it. We'll be pulling into your sector in three minutes. Much appreciated. Vela Gulf out. The two ships engaged with the Vela Gulf are now designated as Scorpium Ship Bravo and Scorpium Ship Charlie. Warp out directly into the orbital path between the Vela Gulf and Scorpium Ship Bravo. Trajectory set. Red alert. Deploy full defensive shields set to Omni. Load all six proton torpedo launchers. Arm the phase cannons. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Shields at full. Proton torpedoes loaded. Phase cannons initialized. Everyone get to your seats and strap in. It's about to get bumpy. Currently maintaining distances of 500,000 kilometers with Bravo and 760,000 with Charlie. Fire three torpedoes at Bravo and immediately reroute to course 60 Mark 0. Proton torpedoes away. Impact in 11 minutes. The Vela Gulf has also launched a torpedo at Bravo. Charlie has just fired four torpedoes at us. Activate auto evasion. Activating auto evasion. Ah, it's shaking! Keep quiet. You might bite your tongue otherwise. Three of the torpedoes will miss, but one cannot be avoided. Brace for impact. We 
have been hit. Shields at 76%. Restoring them now. Uh, the rumbling is like an earthquake. We get any hits in? All three torpedoes failed to connect. How could they miss at that interval? What sort of ship is that? Damn it! Open a channel to the Vela Gulf! Channel, open! Captain, follow this! Can you handle this? We'll make it work. Just go! Set phase cannons to fire simultaneously on both Bravo and Charlie. Program salvo bursts to fire automatically in 10 second intervals on these coordinates. Understood. Divert to course 270, mark 180. Match the movements of the Vela Gulf. Roger, Captain. I'll do my best. Distance between Bravo and Charlie is 100,000 kilometers. Both ships are taking evasive action. Now, hit Bravo with all we've got! Two torpedoes have hit. Bravo has ceased turning. The Bella Gulf's attacks on Charlie also landed. Bullseye! Bravo and Charlie are on a collision course. Scorpium ships Bravo and Charlie have collided. Both battleships appear to have been immobilized. <laughs> yeah! <sighs> <sighs> oh, God. Did... did we win? For now. Don't get out of your seat just yet, though. We don't know what's still out there. Captain, the Bella Gulf is hailing us. Excellent work, Captain Raymond. Thanks, but, uh, it was the Vela Gulf that did all the heavy lifting. We just came in to steal the show. The real work starts now. What do you intend to do? We're gonna board one of the Scorpium ships with Duma and investigate inside. Understood. They may be quiet now, but you're likely to face some strong opposition. Be careful. For sure. And I trust you got our back if anything happens. Can you tell me which ship is the one that came from Aster? Is it Bravo or Charlie? Uh, don't tell me it was the ship that went down before we even got here. It is fortunate we have the data from Lola. Bravo is the one we seek. So we're boarding the Scorpion battleship? Yep, you got it. Let's make our way over there now. Transfer chamber. Oh, I simply wanted to try saying it. Did I do so correctly? And these? Portable optic deflectors. You can wear these to protect yourself from portable optical weaponry equivalent to a Federation phase gun. Hmm, I see. Wait, pray, what exactly does all that mean? It means that even if you're hit by a glowing gun, like the one Marielle was using, it won't kill you. But that's not a complete guarantee, so don't get too cocky. Note that it also offers defense from physical attacks, such as bullets or knives. Finally, please attach these magnetic soles to your footwear. You can switch them on and off by touching your heels. Indeed. Being free of gravity's shackles ought to be fun. Do not even think of wandering off. Is this... What, what? Why am I upside down? Everyone, please remain calm. Turn your feet toward that surface there and touch your heels. Uh, okay, like this? <sighs> so, this is the inside of a Scorpium ship, huh? Which means we're in the belly of a living creature. 
It certainly does have that appearance. Rather unnerving. Where could Boldor be on a ship like this? If he's even still alive. All these... They were on this ship. We must hurry. If more Scorpium arrive, there's no telling what could happen. Strange. This vessel is... What's up? Ray, I am picking up multiple life signs ahead. Many of the Scorpium do not possess detectable life signs. I suggest exercising caution. Oh, we can finally explore. What do you did you think about that last cutscene? It was a little bit boring, not going to lie. Target sighted. All the talk about missiles and coordinates and <laughs> that kind of stuff. It's a little bit annoying and boring. But look, we could probably get through there. How exquisite. Ah! I don't want the princess. We have Theo and Malki. Okay, let's try and go with them for now. Oh, enemies! Careful! Prepare yourselves for battle! In terms of external appearance, this vessel is not particularly different than a normal Scorpion construct. Turn the tides! Enemies, dead ahead! Okay, oh. Duma was speaking, so that's why I stopped. Let's go! Charge! Let's keep going. Threat detected and powers. The reports of different principles existing in the Scorpion were in error. Prepare for some help! Theo is not attacking that much. I don't Get know ready why. The Scorpion are overly aggressive. We have not seen their life before. The integrated organic life must have originated from a very warlike race. I must say. They all look quite different from each other. The forms of life integrated into Scorpions are not limited only to human beings. Yeah, makes sense if they can get as large as the ship. I wonder what type of creature it used to be. They look like the same species like the first game. The ones with the tails and the feather folk. Ooh. Hold the damn phone. Isn't that a Federation soldier's uniform? It also belongs to a high-ranking officer. What does this mean? We can worry about that later. Frigid Blood! Captain Lewis Haynes. A military officer from Earth. Jeez. This proves things aren't looking good for the Federation underbelly. This raises the likelihood that the Centralist Scorpium have had direct influence on the Federation. So the Scorpion is everywhere. Target sighted. Where should we go, Duma? Oh, nothing in here. Really? Oh. A dead end, it would seem. We should search the area. Never know what useful stuff we might. Uh, what? Moving large debris. Huge large debris from another location as a platform to move to and from the other side of the path. Find the breeze and give it a shove in the right direction. Happen on. Okay. This will prove most useful. Is this a debris? <laughs> no, it's not. Is it? How do I do a right shovel? How do I do that? Uh oh. Oh. I'm going to fall at this rate. Oh. And we did. How do we do that? 
Oh, all right. We can we can destroy some debris, but I won't be getting through this way. Better try somewhere else. Yes, yes. I know. I was just testing the waters. So this means we can do this. Oh, I almost fell. Okay, I see. Fight another day. We live to fight another day. All of these particles floating around, I think they are tiring my PC. Hmm. Hey, we might be able to move this junk here with a little oomph. Oh, I see. So this is the one that we need to This will prove around. most useful. You will need to use large debris as a platform to cross back and forth. Give it an earth earthy shove in the right direction. <laughs> Just like this. We do another one in that direction. Oh, I'm always pressing the wrong button. Yes, I believe so. We cannot control it. We just can choose the. Oh, not again! <laughs> Maybe we can survive this. That was close. <laughs> now we need to use this part. Okay. Awesome! We made it. Oh, Let's keep yeah. moving. Target sighted. Oh, so many targets now. One is right up here. This will prove most useful. Hey, look. There seems to be some infighting. Ridiculous. Impossible. To deny something occurring in front of us? It doesn't match you. They also have Federation officer uniforms. <sighs> Must... Wait, you are not of the Scorpium? Are you with Pangalactic Federation pursuers fighting in this system? And what if we are? We are not your foe. We do not wish to fight either. I beg of you, do with me as you will. But please, save the rest. The rest? Letizia, um, behind it. these people from other Scorpium? The Centralist must not be allowed to have them. These are refugees of war who have lost their homes. Please, you must help them. And why should we believe you? You mean to say that the Centralist Scorpium do in fact exist? Aha! Duma! This will make things easy. It is hard to accept, but it would appear we must acknowledge the existence of the Centralist faction. What is the matter? The Scorpium that refer to themselves as Centralists are in rebellion against the existing network. They are attacking those the existing network has deemed suitable and assimilating them by force. This vessel was headed for a Scorpium colony carrying those people behind me. However, the ones we took aboard on Aster 4 summoned the Centralists and... we were dragged into this conflict. 
You refer to Buldor, Valange, and Gaston. Wait a minute. So those two Veer were centralists all along? Though centralists, they are still Scorpion. It is merely a difference of thinking. They initially sought rescue simply because they lacked the means of reaching space. We responded out of a desire to aid our comrades. And because of that, all these people are now embroiled in a war? It's unforgivable. But this one is Scorpium too. And it's assimilating a large number of innocents into its collective. Fate was fair, it seems. It appears you have deemed integration into Scorpio as something malevolent. You are saying it is not? At least in my case, it was a means of survival. I became one with Scorpio by my own choice and that of no one else. There are countless others aside from myself whose lives were saved by integration as well. Huh, well that was unexpected. Regardless, this vessel is doomed. I ask once more that you at least save these people behind me. I am going to put a stop to those who commandeered this ship. They are a danger to the Scorpium network. What do you want to do? Let's help. We're able to reason with him. And... He can tell us more about the Scorpion. Right? Please? Fine. So be it. You, uh, got a name, bud? Please, call me JJ. All right, JJ. We'll do all we can to help you out. But, in exchange, I want you to tell us everything about the Scorpion. Thank you. Whoa, whoa! I must paint a strange picture, bowing before you in this body. However, let this be proof that I remain still an individual. Though I bear the form you now see, you have my heartfelt gratitude for saving the lives of my friends. Uh, what exactly is happening here? I see, so we have two factions. One is good and the other not so much. Oh, we can buy stuff. Charge the supplies on this ship. If you need it. What do you sell? I don't have any money, but... I'm sorry that this is all I can... We shall come again. All like these guys? I don't think so. This will prove and most these useful. people, they were kidnapped. Or they were going to the good scorpion... So they can be saved? Why are they here? This will prove most useful. Now we have... Can we use him? In our team? No. Okay, so he's not playable for now. It's like Tio. Maybe we have to do some quests Target sighted. before he yeah. is playable. What do we have there? Oh, it's the moving rock. Thank you. We still got time before the ship goes down, yeah? We've got business to take care of a bit further in. I promise you we'll come back for them. But this has to take priority. We've handled all the enemies in the area, so they should be safe here for the moment. Roger that. Very well. To the bridge. That's where you'll find them. Okay, let's go. What information do we have on those who took over the ship? Oh, well, there's... Mm. Orgor. Valange. And Gaston. Wait. They're Virian, are they? Thank you. I appreciate the intel. Uh, what was that all about? How did he know who, who and what they were? Oh, Duma told him, right? They can commun communicate? 
something like that. It appears they are up ahead. We should ready ourselves before we make a move. Okay, let's go. We don't have anything here to catch. No. Target sighted. So now, which direction should we go? Oh, this one because of the chest. Hmm, this is too suspicious. Why do we have such a huge area? This will prove most useful. Here. With no enemies. Okay. I will not complain. <laughs> now I, I, I want to destroy everything. Will we fight them? This will prove most useful. Baldor! Valange, Gaston! Well, well, Princess Leticia. I did not expect you would dare to follow us all this way. Baldor, what have you done? Integration, my child. My power now exceeds imagining. It is no small wonder there are so many scorpions spread throughout the universe. But how? I am certain that man was not integrated when he first came aboard. There was still some time until our escort from Central would arrive, so we had him added to the network a tad early. From the wedding? The Emperor was most impressive. His integration went flawlessly. Baldor, what is it you hope to bring about with this power? As an Emperor, it is only natural to desire peace and prosperity for my people. Halcyon days lie ahead for the subjects of Vale in all of Aster IV through Scorpium integration. Our planet will be connected, one network, one beating heart, free of war and suffering. And you would still call them people? Yes. Nevertheless, I cannot allow centralist Scorpium to bring such a thing to pass. Bulldor! Aster Four is not ready for this power from the stars. I shall end your ambitions here. Oh boy, the big Exercise fight is here. here. You yet need convincing. You may rest assured I have no desire to kill you. Nay, my sweet beloved daughter, deliverance, integration awaits you. As does peace without end, as Scorpion. As will you all. I stand Let's go. Ready. Unleash. Unleashed. You cannot defeat this Baldor. I hope. <laughs> Goki, what are you doing there? See, Tio never attacks them. Oh, it's already gone. This ultimate. To your fellow Scorpion. Humans fight each other as well, do they not? Only through conflict can understanding emerge. What you wreak here is not war. It is mere slaughter. Oh, we are visible again. Let us shift the arms. Let's no charge might. our magic. Leave them in ruin. No I think we can do four of them. Yes. Look at this. <laughs> oh, Elena. Let me use an item on Elena before she dies. Good luck. Baldor, there is still time. Perhaps we can undo your integration. 
I do not know what Dribble Lola told you, but never shall I abandon this power. I changed Theo with Ray because Theo was not doing anything. I don't know why. Oh, because he it's his father. No, Hunko. No, uh, I don't know. Divine Might. Careful, swing an ultimate. That was really like. Do you truly believe the people of the Empire would wish to become this? Lambert told me about you, Albert Burkholm. Fusing with Scorpion will save the arm you lost as a child in an instant. My salvation will be at mine own hand, not your self-righteousness. Yes, Albert. Tell him. He cannot buy you. Oh, my oh no! Someone is wrecked, Albert, please. Oh, ouch. But again. Watch your death. I need to heal myself. Resistance is I use some items, so... Oh. Let's go one more time. Let's kill him once and for all. Oh, really? Mm, that was anticlimactic once again. <laughs> you are strong indeed, Scorpion Warrior. Absurd. How can he be so strong so soon after integration? Yeah, no kidding. He's on a completely different level than other Scorpion. Emergency communication from the Vela Gulf. Ray, the Astoria is approaching Scorpion ship Bravo at high speed. The Astoria? Those bastards love to hide. Get out of there, Ray! They're gonna fire! It would seem we are done here. Yes, it would. Our escort from Central has arrived. The Astoria is connected with the Centralists? Would knowing that change anything? This ship will be destroyed, along with your own. Colonel Valange, is this truly what you desire? Lola lives! She awaits your return! There's... no going back for me. I am truly sorry, Princess Leticia. I find myself unable to save you. Voldor! Damn it! It's the Astoria. They're changing course. And they've locked onto us. We can't shake them! And run! No! Stop! The Vela Gulf! Chloe, transfer all detectable life signs aboard this ship! JJ, grab onto me! Engage the Astoria. Captain Curtis, you saved our bacon. We only escaped thanks to you. Don't think you're out of the weeds just yet. The Astoria seems to have it out for you. Get out of here while we hold them off. The Federation should be the ones to atone for all this. Son of a bitch! Get us out of the Manuk system at max warp! All hands, brace for warp speed! Wait! We must help them! There's nothing we can do if we stay. The captain's efforts will be in vain. Entering emergency warp. Course 180. Mark 180. Engines at maximum. No signs of pursuit. We have successfully escaped the Manuk system. Captain Curtis. What do we do now, Ray? JJ, 
I heard you say that Scorpium ship was an evacuation vessel. Can we have civil discussions with other non-centralist Scorpium, like you? There are no hostile Scorpium among those who saved I and my comrades. What the hell are you talking about? That ship attacked the Akizuki! Only because your own vessel acted in a way that the Scorpium network deemed hostile. You were hiding and waiting for your chance to strike. That was a mistake in Scorpium's judgment! <laughs> hey, you know the coordinates of your destination? Don't tell me you're thinking of going straight to their base! We've lost Boldor and the others. We don't know whether the Vela Gulf survived. The Aldis can only sustain these evacuees for a couple days at most. Do we really have any other options? If you will give us passage to the colony, we of the Scorpion can promise to welcome the Aldis with open arms and with peace. JJ is not lying. I recommend cooperating with them in our investigation of these centralists. Is your colony a Scorpium too? And where the hell is it? It is a Scorpium construct in the form of a colony. You will find it 700 light years from here. There's no way we can travel that far. We can arrive swiftly if we pass through the wormhole 6.2 light years from here. Can you input the coordinates of the wormhole? Yes, a wormhole does indeed exist at this point. If we travel through it, we will reach the colony within 24 hours. We possess the key to the wormhole. The Aldis is now en route to the Scorpium colony. We're bringing the refugees home. My thanks. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. I wonder if our new companion is in his living quarters. There is much I wish to ask. Yeah, you and hey, me both. Are we going through a loophole? Warm, warm hole? Warm loop? <laughs> warm wolo wolo wolo? No, a wrong room. Nope, this is not the fortress. Princess, you press wrong button. Where is he? This way? Let's ask him. Well, looks like everyone had the same idea. Yes. I'd like to learn as much from JJ as I can. But I'm not quite sure how exactly to ask. If there is something you need, then please enter. There you go. Captain Raymond. Thank you once again for offering us your protection. I am truly grateful. Don't worry about it. Actually, I came hoping you might tell us more about the Scorpion. Has Duma told you nothing? Mainly general information. However, we have never had the chance to speak with someone who became a part of the Scorpion directly. You wish to know if Scorpion is your enemy? Correct. I saw a great many of my comrades that had been integrated beyond the point of recognition on the ship where we met you. They were unquestionably hostile not only towards me, but towards Raymond and Leticia as well. But then, we found you fighting to protect all those refugees. Is that not normal? Normal? They had their objectives, and acted to remove any irregularities in its completion. Which in this case would be... all of you. I, too, had my own objective, and sought your help to achieve it. Um, well, yes, that is all true, I suppose. 
But is Scorpion... A monstrous invader that transforms people into something they are not? That's how it seems to me. The same mistaken belief prevailed on my home planet as well. The belief that those who merged with Scorpion became creatures so utterly alien that they were incapable of conscious thought. But this is not the case. Am I myself not proof of this as I stand before you? So you, uh, Scorpion, are basically just robots or androids? Maybe cyborgs? I would contend that none of those terms accurately describe my current state. I am a humanoid that has almost fully physically integrated with Scorpion. But why would you do that? To evolve. Duma said that too, but is it evolution to turn your body all mechanical? Conversion of the organic body is the process, not the means. The unified purpose brought forth by integration with Scorpion is connection with the Scorpion network that spans this vast galaxy. So you plug humans into this network? The Duma that came to my world also phrased many things in a way that invited misunderstanding. It is a concept that is easily grasped after integration, but difficult to comprehend prior to that. I believe that the evolution I gained through integration with Scorpion can be found here, and also here. Many different organic life forms join with Scorpion, but at least for we humanoids, History has proven that evolution of the mind and heart is possible, has it not? I know these ideas are not easy to comprehend. I alone am not capable of conveying them properly, and I also understand the feelings of those who find Scorpion difficult to accept. However, I would not have lived a full life had I not gained this body. Thus, I have not even one iota of regret. All I ask is that you at least understand this. Very well. I don't get it, though. What about those Federation officers? There's got to be something we're missing. We're really going to have to open our minds if we want to wrap our heads around any of this. You mean to say that what we know is limited by what we have seen, and we are yet to understand the full extent of what has happened? Yeah, exactly. You're getting all of this pretty quick, Leticia. Well, you have proven to be quite the teacher. All of this has given me a headache. I'm going to go get some rest. All this talk of the incomprehensible has left me quite fatigued. Perhaps I ought to take a moment to rest. Yes. Please, let's rest. I need it as well, so... We will rest after this long explanation about the scorpion. One side is bad, the other side is not. People that want to live forever join the Scorpio. Scorpio? 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 <laughs> the other half wants them integrated by force. They want to dominate everything. The same as always. So I think pretty much is that. But I think we will figure out a secret or two along the way. So can't wait to know more. Thank you for watching and good rest. Bye.